This is seriously her absolute favorite toy. Just a plain and simple silicone smoothie straw. You guys, give this video a thumbs up if you love fall and the transition from Halloween to Christmas. It is literally my absolute favorite time of the year. In fact, it might be a little early, but I just got way too excited and I just ordered our holiday cards. I might have to give you guys a little sneak peek because when we were back in Nebraska about a month ago, we did a family photo shoot with our friend Ariel Penowitz, so talented and we just see everything eye to eye. We are like soul sisters. She's so bright and bubbly and vibrant and colorful and her creative space, Luli, is so incredible. So I might have to give you guys a sneak peek. I've got little Miss Zoe here just hanging out. We decided to be matchy today in our denim and our mustard. <laughs> It felt very fall-ish. So in this video, I wanted to bring you all of the Florida fall vibes because we got hit with a cold front a few days ago and needless to say, we busted out our hoodies, dusted off our sweatpants, got cozy with our favorite blankets, turned on You've Got Mail, and When Harry Met Sally, cozying up by our fire pit out back. So we're gonna share Biv's Bev's and Max's Snacks. I've been talking about this for months and now is the time since Halloween and fall is upon us. This is when we love all the cozy snacks. So if you like these vlog style videos and vegan recipes, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button up in the corner and be sure to leave me some love in the comments below. Let me know what you're thinking you're gonna gift for this holiday season. I've got something epic in mind. Shameless holiday gift giving plug, but I'm not ashamed at all. I'm actually super ridiculously proud. The Happy Healthy Plant-Based Cookbook is on pre-sale now and it comes out January 7th. So be sure to grab your copy wherever books are sold and linked below in the description. You guys are gonna love it because there are 75 plus colorfully delicious plant-powered recipes. There are raw and cooked both. They're family friendly, kid approved, great for anybody and everybody, ideal for plant-based enthusiasts and those who are plant curious. It will win over the hearts of any. So be sure to grab it. And number two, get your skincare and self-care dialed in with Osea Malibu. The Daria Algae Body Oil is their number one all-time bestseller. It's the OG. It is so incredible. The family uses this body oil after every single evening shower. It's so hydrating and luxurious, and the smell is out of this world. If you want the most epic combo, start with the Andaria Algae Body Wash in the shower, and then before you towel dry, follow it with the Andaria Algae Body Oil then pat dry and finalize it with the Andaria Collagen Body Lotion. I am super excited about the newest in the Osea collection. This is the Hyaluronic Lip Booster. It's like my all-time favorite color. Most importantly, I love the way it glides on and the way it's long-lasting, and I love the way it looks. Mm perfection. I love Osea Malibu so, so much. They are a female and family founded and owned company. It's vegan, cruelty free, ocean positive. I love their body care so much. If you're new to Osea Malibu, I would suggest getting their mini travel set. And if you're like me and you love that iconic scent that comes with all of the Andaria Algae body products, be sure to grab a set and save big during the holidays. 
act quickly because these will sell out. You can also use my discount code linked below in the description. Be sure to grab something for yourself and get started now on your holiday gift giving because one thing's for sure, whenever I procrastinate, I get so stressed out and then I don't enjoy the holidays. So that's why I am doing it all right now. Another thing on my list is grabbing our matching family jammies. Let's jump right into our delicious sweets and treats. So I thought it would be fun since we often get asked, do we celebrate Halloween? What are some healthy kids snacks? What do you guys like to do? So. First and foremost, trick-or-treating, we typically do the Switch Witch. We've done that the past couple of years with friends where we go trick-or-treating as a group and then the kids set their bags of candy out on the front doorstep and we just kind of hang out and wait around and the Switch Witch comes and trades out the unhealthy treats for super fun activities and games, stickers, things like that, and healthy alternatives. And there are lots of great fall-inspired baked goods and sweets and treats that Dusty and I like to make for the kids here at home that are free of refined sugars, gluten-free, really easy and effortless to make, and they're guilt-free. So we're gonna share a couple of our favorites. I'm actually about to make our favorite pumpkin spice muffins. So they're also great for lactation because they contain a lot of galactagogues or foods that are great for breastfeeding, but they're not going to make your kids or your husband lactate. I talk about these nonstop, but hey, this is real life. This is what we do on repeat. And if you wanna find success in a healthy diet and lifestyle, it just takes a lot of commitment and consistency. And it has to taste good, right? First thing I'm gonna do is blend up two cups of oat growths. These are just oats in their most pure whole form, which I've been using a lot more instead of rolled oats because I just feel like the nutrients are more fully intact. It's more robust muffin. <laughs> so I blend those along with a tablespoon of chia and a tablespoon of flax. After I blend up the oat groats, the chia and the flax, I'm gonna add it to a large mixing bowl and I'm gonna add all my other dry ingredients as well. So a tablespoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of Oliveda's olive mush. So this contains the olive leaf, hydroxytyrosol, aliripin, and then a mushroom blend. So reishi, chaga, lion's mane, and then cacao, cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, cloves, nutmeg, black pepper, turmeric, and chili. This one's fantastic for your health and it's very fall flavored. A lot of people actually use this as a coffee alternative. You can also make a really good date hot cocoa with it, so I'll show you guys that too. One and a half scoops of Sun Warrior vanilla protein, we're gonna have a crack of Himalayan salt. Just a dash of cinnamon. You can use more if you don't have the olive mush. You can use maybe a teaspoon or two. Then for our wet ingredients, we're gonna add to a blender 20 pitted medjool dates. You'll want to pit these first and soak them. We're gonna add the dates into the blender along with their soaking water, just enough so that they're barely covered. And then we're also gonna add one cup of pumpkin puree and a splash of apple cider vinegar, like no more than a teaspoon. Blend that up. So we're gonna mix our dry goods and then pour and mix in the wet ingredients. I have a, so this isn't non-stick. There's nothing toxic, it's all non-tox. Medical grade stainless steel muffin pan and I use the parchment baking cups. These are unbleached. We're gonna bake it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 to 30 minutes. Just check until the top becomes kind of a golden brown. A few videos back, I mentioned that it would be fun to have the kids make Biv's Bev's or a delicious drink and Max's snacks. One of our absolute favorite nighttime treats is a delicious, cozy, creamy, frothy hot cocoa. And I'm actually really excited to share with you guys that Nama just came out with a brand new product. This is not sponsored, but I am actually obsessed. So this is a nut milk maker. You can make all kinds of nut, seed, and grain milks with it. I love it because it's like a very barista quality milk. So it is similar to the juicer in the fact that you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. So when you're buying store-bought milks, it's going to basically be a lot of water but also a lot of added preservatives and fillers and other yucky things we don't necessarily want in our plant milk. So this is gonna give you a more nutritious living end product that has not been pasteurized. It's gonna have healthy fats, proteins, carbs, 
and the taste is so superior. So I will say, obviously, since you guys don't have this, being that it's brand spanking new, you can use a blender and then a nut milk bag to make plant milks that way. If you're interested and you wanna make your own plant milks and save money and get the best quality and best nutritional value, check this out and you can get 10% off with our link in the description. General ratio for making a milk would be one cup of, say, nuts, for example, and three to four cups of water. Today, rather than just selecting one nut or seed, I'm gonna make a blend because these are my three favorite ingredients. So this is gonna be an oat cashew hemp blend. And since we're making hot cocoa, I'm also going to flavor it up a little bit. So with any nut or seed milk, I love adding in just a pinch of salt, about a teaspoon of vanilla bean powder or extract, and then three dates to give it a little touch of sweetness. For our hot chocolate recipe, we're also adding in two tablespoons of cacao powder, or you can also use a half scoop of chocolate Sun Warrior protein that will also add to the sweetness as well. So if you did that, I would just use one date in that recipe. Okay, we're gonna add three cups of water into our basin here. One half cup of oats, a quarter cup of cashews, and a quarter cup of hemp seeds. We'll do two tablespoons of cacao powder. That's one. It smells like chocolate. Yeah. A dash of cinnamon or two dashes if you want. Good. A pinch of salt and I'm gonna go get our vanilla bean powder. We're actually gonna do a half teaspoon of vanilla bean powder. Last, to make it sweet, we'll add three dates. We're gonna blend it for 45 seconds. Typically, you'll do one minute, but if you have oats in the mix, it gets a little too porridgey if you blend it too long. So 45 seconds should be perfect. <laughs> Pull it straight up like you do with the juicer. Whoa, uh-oh! So at the end, it does a final spin to kind of get rid of all of the excess liquid. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that fun? We're gonna pour it in our little sample cup right here just to try it before we warm it. That feels good. Now I'm gonna pour some, about two cups, in our stovetop pot. We'll save the rest as chocolate milk. Usually if I'm gonna add protein, I wait till after I heat it on the stove top and then I will whisk it in with an electric whisk. So if you're using a blender and a nut milk bag, you'll want to blend on high speed for one minute and then you'll strain it and run it through your nut milk bag into a large glass bowl. And then you can pour it into an airtight container and seal it and put it in the fridge and it should stay good for I would say about three days. We always try to be zero waste so you can use the pulp really easily. When you take this out, this rubber piece right here actually scrapes down the walls inside and allows you to remove the pulp. It also comes with this nice little silicone mat. You put the pulp onto it and you can zip it and refrigerate it if you don't want to use it right away. But I'm gonna use it right away because we're gonna make Max's snacks next. The hot cocoa is perfect for a cozy fall evening watching your favorite movie and Max's snacks are gonna be the perfect Halloween treat. So we started out buying all of our plant milks by the carton at the store and then we quickly realized A, it was difficult to find ones that had the ingredients that we wanted in them. B, they're overpriced. C, you're paying for mostly water. What do you guys think? Good. Mm -hmm. Cashews and hemp seeds and, and chocolate and and oats and, and hemp seeds. Yeah, and what else? Maybe some protein. Protein, omega fats. And most importantly, a yummy taste. Mm. What does the Switch Witch do? Does she switch out your trick or treat candy for healthy, yummy snacks and toys? Yeah. I'm gonna say, hi, Switch Witch. Can, 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 I, can, I, can I hug you? <laughs> So now we're gonna be making Max's snacks. Peanut butter protein balls. <laughs> They're gonna be super good. So we've got about a half cup of our oat, hemp, and cashew pulp. We're gonna add it to the mixing bowl. If you do not have pulp, you'll want to blend a half cup of rolled oats. If you've got your pulp from your nut milk, then all you're gonna need is a half cup of whole oats, one scoop of vanilla Sun Warrior protein, one cup of peanut butter. 
Yes, these are treats indeed, but that's what we're going for with Halloween, right? And this is so much better than using oil. So make sure you find a nut butter of your choice, nut or seed butter that only contains one ingredient. So much better than using oil, so much better than using excess sugar. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you could almost add in some like cacao nibs and it could be like a Snickers ball. Then our last ingredient is two to three tablespoons of maple syrup. One, two, three. three. There you go. Now here's our mixing apparatus. Can I try it? Mm. We're gonna use our little mat that came with our nut milk maker, or you can use parchment paper. I'm just gonna roll little tablespoon sized balls on one half and then we can fold it and keep them in the fridge. You can really make them whatever size you want, but I like little bite-sized things. I'm making 10 ones. Max's snacks. Happy Halloween. All right, you guys, that wraps up today's video. Be sure to get our book on presale now for yourself and a loved one for this holiday season. And also be sure to grab your Osea Malibu gift sets before they sell out. Act quickly, you can use my discount code and save big. It's linked below in the description along with everything else I mentioned in today's video. I would appreciate it so much and it helps our channel a ton if you hit that subscribe button. Join the Eat, Move, Rest fam. There is only more fun and delicious, colorful living to come on this channel. So leave me some love in the comments below. Let me know what recipe you're excited to try and you can also find those in our meal planner. Everything is in the description. So until next time, let's keep in touch on Instagram. You can find me at Erin Stanzik. I answer all my DMs. I'll see you over there until next week. Bye guys.